Well, as you can see, we're very much in the dog days of summer and it's still very hot. It's about 10 o'clock at night now, it's still about 38 degrees, so I think sleep is out of the question. But look, I'm no soft cock and I thought, no, I'm going to make a video, why not? And I'm going to show you my Christmas haul here, as you can see, and also I'm going to show you some of the VHS tapes I picked up at the secondhand store. So let's have a look. Well, going by the size of this bag, you know I've been to JB Hi-Fi, and it's a big bag too. I've got a couple of gift cards from there, so I've been buying up big because I had a 20% off sale recently. But I got these for Christmas. Oh, sorry, I got Martyrs for Christmas from my sister. Believe it or not, I watched this Christmas Day. I shit you not. I watched it with my mother and my nephew on Christmas afternoon. And my goodness me, I was totally blown away by this film. It's actually a French-Canadian co-production. It's in French with subtitles. The only problem with this release is that the subtitles are not optional. They're actually burnt onto the print, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, um, Martyrs is one of the best horror films I've seen in a long time. And I don't want to say too much about it, but I can honestly tell you I had difficulty watching parts of it. You know, I'm pretty broad-minded, but some of the violence in this film really just really unsettled me. Very original horror film and like I said I don't want to say too much about it other than to say that I'm sure that there are more productive ways of surrendering the human ego and reaching enlightenment. But that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, next up Frontiers, I actually bought this and it says there the French ant answer to Hostel and Saw. Look, I don't mean to upset anyone and I apologise in advance if I do but I hated the Saw series, didn't like it. I think they are terribly overrated. And I didn't like Hostel either. Um, so I'm sorry if that upsets people, but that's just my experience of those horror movies. This film, on the other hand, is fantastic and is really well made. There's a lot of references to other horror films in this, which you can spot along the way. Um, very interesting subtext with respect to French culture and you know issues of racism and um, cultural biases and all that sort of stuff. Really interesting movie. and but very nasty, and anyone who's seen this film will never forget the scene involving the axe and the circular saw. I think those scenes will go down, you know, as, as very memorable in French horror cinema. So Frontiers is definitely a must-see. Enjoyed that film, and Martyrs, I think, is a, a masterpiece of modern horror filmmaking. Well, I updated my version of The Fog because I've got an earlier release, but it hasn't got all these special uh, features and whatever. The Fog is one of my favourite horror films of all time. I haven't seen the remake and I never will watch it. Never going to watch the remake, so glad to have a copy of that. I've never seen The Panic in Needle Park, but um, Al Pacino was in this one. And this was released by DV1. They released some interesting titles, so I picked up really cheaply at JB Hi-Fi. Speaking of Al Pacino, my uh, sister gave me this for Christmas, the special edition of Scarface. Two Disca. I love Scarface. Great film. I reckon you could make a film like this today and it would get an audience. You know, it'd make millions of dollars. Oh, Raging Bull. I got the definitive edition for Christmas as well. And that's a two Disca too. I think some come with a slip case, but this one doesn't have one. Got uh, Goodfellas for Christmas as well. And this is the two disc edition too. Been a couple of years since I've seen Goodfellas, so looking forward to watching that again. Well, I picked up uh, this one, it's double feature of Andy Milligan. Andy Milligan, I suppose you could compare to H.G. Lewis from the 60s. But the only difference is that Andy Milligan also made some pretty racy sort of sex films, but here we've got Seeds of Sin and the Ghastly Ones. Obviously, something weird video gets released here too, but as you can see, it's really packed with special features and is. You know, it's worth checking out his work if you're a fan of H.G. Lewis, so that's that. Picked up the uh, Black Label edition of Zack and Mary Make a Porno, and this was released by Village Roadshow. Now, I may well have said this before, but Village Roadshow never, ever, ever reissue special editions. So, whenever you see these on the shelf, they're worth buying regardless of cost, because once they're gone, they're gone. Oh, I can't pick that freaking thing out. That's just the uh, digital copy, so it's, well, it's effectively three discs, isn't it? Picked up uh, this for about $7 at Sam's Warehouse. If you've got a Sam's Warehouse near you, it's worthwhile having a look. And that's the extended edition of Knocked Up. I also picked these up at uh, Sam's Warehouse as well. And I got these for $1.70. Picked up these two box sets of Almodovar films from JB as well. And the first one has all these films there, as you can see, if it's going to focus. And... 
just a slip case with the three discs as you can see. All these films have shown on SBS. SBS is a free to wear foreign language uh, station in Australia. So I've seen all of these on SBS but I thought I want to get the DVDs too. And Volume 2 has those three films. Very similar looking thing inside, a few special features and whatever, so that's nice. Well I think it would sound pretty glib to call Jacques Tati the French version of Charlie Chaplin, but that's the comparison that comes to mind. And this box set from Madman Entertainment is really, really expensive. Like it normally retails for about $90. So, but bear in mind that all of these separately are like $33 each, so really, really expensive. But this box set has got all of those films as you can see. And I love Jacques Tati. I've seen his films and they are fantastic. And for me, this was a must get. Picked up this box set as well, consisting of three films of Fernando Arabal. He's a Spanish filmmaker. They're very art house, they're very strange, and if you're into strange, weird, art house, slow films like me, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones. And they're all uncut prints as well, so I thought that was a good buy at JB. And this box set is pretty hard to find. It's not an easy one to find. And I finally decided to get the Blade Runner box set as well. And these are still very common to buy. Fortunately, that rating sticker is only a sticker. So that peels off. Um, but this release is fantastic. It's a five disc release, as you can see. And it contains various cuts, like the director's cut, the uh, theatrical cut, and so forth. The US theatrical prints in it. It's got this uh, weird little 3D thing or whatever. Got a letter from Ridley Scott, a little booklet, and I presume these are lobby cards. No, they look like just little concept pictures or whatever. Heaps of those in there, as you can see. So that's a nice little addition, which is still very easy to get in Australia, but I think ones overseas are tricky to find. Um, now, when I went to the second-hand stores, I didn't just buy shitty VHS tapes. I picked up a couple of cool things. I picked up the original release of Predator by CBS Fox in an original box in really good quality, if I can open the damn thing. Um, so I thought that was worth it. It was a dollar. One dollar. Why not? Picked up a uh, Starbase video. I don't know what this is like, but as a collector, you just tend to pick up rare labels. You know, it's not so much about the film. It's more about the fact that you've got the label. And Starbase actually did have this type of opaque cover, similar to Village Roadshow, but slightly different. One dollar for this original release of Misery by Village Roadshow. And as you can see, not an X-Rental. Beautiful, beautiful quality for one dollar. Why not? And for two dollars, I picked up Schwarzenegger's The Running Man. Again, another original release from Village Roadshow. That's the uh, rental edition. I know you can get it on DVD, whatever. Again, another beautiful uh, quality copy there. Believe it or not, I picked this up at a Uniting Church Opportunity Shop in South Melbourne. Yep, I did. <laughs> now this is the sell-through edition. It's not the rental edition. Um, it's on PSO video. But nonetheless, it's in very good condition. And that was, I think, $2. And the last Village Roadshow I got was this one, Code of Silence, which is tricky to find. and usually sells for a nice price on eBay and I picked up this star video as well I've never seen one of these in real life until I picked it up and that's got Margot Kidder and a few other nobodies in, in it the last video today I picked up one on the Nostalgia Merchant label and collectors in Australia might be interested to see this one released by Video Classics and that's what they look like and that's a list of all the titles that they released, probably in North America too, I presume. And lastly, for $1.99 I picked up the Betty Blue soundtrack. Betty Blue is one of my favourite French films ever, and I love the soundtrack. I mean, part of the film and how good it is is about the soundtrack as well. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm sweating like a pig, and I need to take a shower. Um, and then I'm just going to head out. It's just so fucking hot. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> no, I won't. Well, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you stay cool or stay warm wherever you are.